Hi, it's Lou Collins and welcome to another Distressing Canoxide colour combination video. Today we're looking at prized ribbon, which is a lovely royal blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to swatch this first of all and see what it looks like on white card stock in the flesh as such. Compare it to other blues that are in the uh, distress range and see if there's anything similar in there. Then I'm going to show you a nice sort of tonal uh, three color combination using it and a very much not tonal, a very uh, contra contrasting but complementary four color combination that you can also be using within your craft projects. As always, everything I'm using, which includes the brushes, the inks, of course, the blending mat, so I have a clear blending mat under here, um, the link to download the distress chart, and anything else I mention is all linked down below for you. So you'll find that in the description on this YouTube video. And if you have missed any of the previous colors, as I'm working through alphabetically, um, you'll find those all in a playlist on YouTube on my channel uh, and I'll give you the link to that at the end so you can go and check all of those out. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is swatch this onto white cardstock. So like I say, prize ribbon. It really is a beautiful kind of 4th of July Union Jack flag type blue. Uh, I like to call it a royal blue because I think that's really what it is. Um, let's just do about a third of this, making sure we've got some nice solid blue at the end here there we go perfect now look at that now this is of course still damp so you've got a little bit of um, sort of variation in shades in there but when that dries it goes to a lovely chalky soft finish um, let's wipe my mat before we do any comparison so I don't forget but we've got compared to the ink pad it's actually quite similar obviously a little bit lighter we find this with the darker colors they do look lighter on paper than they do on the pad um, but the same really with the, um, well, the same but opposite as such with the ink pad. Now the ink pad looks lighter in areas. The idea with the ink pads, and I haven't mentioned these lately, is down in the bottom corner and in the top corner here, you've got that solid colour. That's what you'd expect to see when these colours are blended. But when you mix them with water, that's what these colours in the middle represent. So you get an idea of how this particular colour might look when you spritz and start it reacting with water in various different ways. So that's not actually too far off. It's a really close match, which is lovely if you're looking online and trying to find um, a particular colour. So then going through my colour combinations and this really is the only blues that are going to be comparable here. So lots of blues within the distress range as you can see. So we've got prize ribbon just here. Just below it we've got chip sapphire which is obviously much darker, much more towards a navy there. Just above it we've got faded jeans which again isn't too different but definitely a little bit on the paler side. Anything above that is definitely uh, going to be paler. The only other one I wanted to check actually because I knew it was here, it's on the purple strip because that's just how it goes, is um, Blueprint Sketch. I think that's not too dissimilar either. So I think if you're looking to do the colour combinations that I'm showing you today but you don't yet have prize ribbon, you could probably substitute them with uh, chip sapphire, faded jeans or even blueprint sketch and definitely let me know the results, let me know how that works if you do that. So let's do our first combination, now like I say the first one is always going to be um, sort of three colours that are the same but we get from darker to lighter. Uh, I've just started doing this recently because um, from research I've found that when people are doing ombre backgrounds they more likely would go from a dark to light of the same colour than they would chopping and changing the colours throughout the blend. So I like to give you three colours that are dark to light in one colour and then we look at a four colour combination that is very much different colours in there, lots of contrast and complementary colours coming in. So Salty Ocean is going to be my next colour in this combination. So look how bright and beautiful this is. I love it. I just love the brightness. I've actually just got some, I've been inking all day, so I've got ink on my fingers. I think I've just got some on the paper, but we'll bear with it. Hopefully that will be okay. And then I'm going to pick up a little bit because I've already inked this swatch a little while ago and it's already started to dry. I'm going to come in with a bit more ink just to help me blend that. If you try 
blending into a dry color it's just not going to work you still need those pigments that are sitting on top of the paper to be a little bit damp for the blends to work nicely otherwise you're just going back over the top of some colored paper and it's not going to get that blend effect that you need so working in little circles over there there we go look at that so we've got the prize ribbon going into salty ocean absolutely beautiful i am just going to take my wet wipe and i'm going to clean off around the mat because i'm going into a much lighter color next like i say that uh, green that i've got on there off of my fingers i didn't clean my fingers from the last video that might be an issue but we shall see we'll see whether or not we can cover that over now tumbled glass is a much much lighter color I think we can almost get over it you'll be able to see the effect that I'm going for with these combinations regardless so filling in the solid color first of all I don't worry about the blending until I've got all of my solid part filled in and I'm happy with it and then I start working up in towards the blending so because I've got a much darker color I'm just going to do little circles just over the edge there start working it in and when I've done as much as I can with what's on this brush I'm going to come in and as always I'm going to come in with just what's on my brush I'm going to start with it down in the middle where the solid panel of color is I'm not going to go directly into the blended bit because I'll end up with a big oval of ink there of my brush and I'm just going to then do those little circles but again work my way up this time tiny tiny little circles all the time and then if I feel I need to I probably wouldn't too much on here but I would go back over again with the light in the same way and I can keep going back and forth back and forth like that until I'm happy with the blend line so there's prize ribbon going into salty ocean going into tumbled glass now let's take a look at another combination using prize ribbon this one's a little bit different I'm not sure how this one's going to come out so it's actually a bit of an experiment for both you and I together but we're going to start first of all with dried marigold then we're going to go into ripe persimmon then into prize ribbon and then into black soot now I think I've done a combination quite a little bit similar to this before probably not exactly but when my little boy was little well, it, well he's still in my eyes he's still little he's 15 now but when he was younger when he was a baby and a toddler a lot of his clothes his favorite clothes were blue and orange so um i think that's why i'm really drawn to this color combination is because you've got the orange and the blue together now ripe persimmon and dried marigold are just so beautiful together they work so so nicely so just blend those look at that gorgeous pinky coral color between the two lovely now at any time if you'd like to take a color combination just part of it and use that within your next projects by all means go ahead go and use that and let me know how it looks send me photos um, by message you can do that on uh, either via my website or you can do that of course on Facebook I'm on there or even on um, Instagram so all the links are down below for you but I love to see what you're making when you use my color combinations or part of them then I'm going to go into the prize ribbon so build this color up too I'm going to bring this quite close to the end if you've seen any of my previous videos where I've actually used black soot I tend to just pop it at the very end there I don't do a big chunk of it so the same will happen here now I'm going to put a bit more ripe persimmon down because mixing from blue into orange isn't usually um, a sort of switch that's going to be very easy so I'm going to probably have to work at this one quite a bit to get a nice blend but I think it will be worth it so as you can see there I'm blending the two lots of ripe persimmon there and then lots of the prize ribbon and doing exactly as we just did with the two there just back and forth back and forth until we're happy I think we did this with the tumbled glass and the salty ocean and if you need to pick up more go onto the solid color and then work that in 
so we will likely when you've got two colors like this that are so different you're likely to get a very different color in the middle there so we're kind of looking at a bit of a brownie color coming through um, but I think that's acceptable I think I'd be happy with that as always if you're not entirely happy with a color blend in the end um, it's actually easy to just splat some water over it a little spritz of water and it really does hide a lot of imperfections lastly I'm going to go in with the black soot at the end now black soot is in the oxide range isn't really black it's more of a charcoal color a dark gray so I'm just going to blend this in here there we go like I say I don't do a lot of black on the ends I'm going to bring the blue into it that's probably quite easy to do so because they're both quite dark colors nice there we go I've just stuck my finger in that there because that was still wet see if I can just salvage that a little bit not too much I'm not too worried there we go so we've then got it's lovely isn't it it really is nice so we've got black soot going into prize ribbon going into ripe persimmon and then going in to dried marigold now let's take a look at that first color combination now that has all dried and hopefully faded a little and don't forget I'm going to pop up just here the playlist for you so you can check out all the other color combinations that we've done so far there's over 40 there and I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel as well so there's the two finished combinations um, I do love getting thumbs up on my videos from you I really appreciate it and I hope to see you again very soon